Uh, Ken, what an honor it is to have you here tonight and to talk to you for just a minute or two. Uh, you've been involved with racing for how long? Since uh, 1954. 1954. Unbelievable amounts of uh, wins and, and famous drivers and everything from Indy cars to midgets to modifieds. Uh, tell me a little bit about your entry into motorsports. Well, when I was a kid, my mother and father went to the races, and at that time, sprint cars were called big cars. And then midgets came and evolved, and uh, we used to go to the midget races. And in 1954, I bought the first midget. And later that year, I bought a second one. <laughs> the first one I bought home, Dorothy thought was wonderful. The second one I bought home, she had a change of heart. She thought it was terrible. <laughs> Now, did you start off as wanting to be a driver, or did you drive? I wanted to be a driver, but my dad got sick, very sick, and I had to knuckle down and run the business. So I, I did run a couple of heat races with the, with the midget, but, and I went to the driver's school at Avon, Connecticut, in Cherry Park, but and I never really took it up. Who did you get to drive for you first? Uh, Charlie Ross. We became very, very friendly with him and his family. The second driver was uh, Vernon Land. The third driver, the very next year, was Charlie Miller, who was a sprint car driver too. And Charlie won a ton of races for us the second year. And sad to say, he did get killed in a sprint car the very same year, late in the year, in September sometime at, the, at Shelby, North Carolina. After the, uh, how, for how long a period of time were you involved with the midgets the first go around? We had midgets right up until the time that we uh, went stock car racing, and that was at the end of 1971. So we ran the midgets right through the entire year of 71. So. Once you started with the modifieds and, and the stock cars, um, was then your son starting with you or was a different driver? Well, we went stock car racing for our son, Kenny. Okay. That's what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And we uh, bought a car from Bud Olson, who was a friend of mine who drove our midget once in a while. And we went to Flemington with Stan Plosky on Wednesday night. And one, the very first night we were there, the next night we went to Williams Grove to a 100-lap all-star race with Cagle, and we won there. Came back to Flemington on Saturday and won there again, and won six in a row at Flemington, won two at Windsor, and that ended 1971. You're, uh, you also got involved in the 1960s with Indy cars. And we bought an Indy dirt car from Frommer, right here in Pennsylvania. And uh, we ran that fairly successful. And Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company asked me to come to Akron and talk to them about them setting us up with a rear engine car to go to the Speedway. That we did, and it was all their money, none of ours at all. They gave us two race cars and the engines to go with them. And we were very unfortunate that we didn't qualify at the Speedway. We qualified the first weekend and then got bumped on the second weekend. But we ran every single race for two years in the Indy circuit and qualified for every race other than the Speedway, which probably I lived with the rest of my life. <laughs> but that's the way it was. The, uh, your first driver, did you have one driver or multiple drivers for the Indy cars? Well, we had multiple drivers for the Indy cars. Who drove for you the first? Uh, Bob Harkey. You know Bob. Um, and who, who else drove the Indy cars? Bruce Walkup, Raleigh Beal. Larry Dixon. I don't know. We had we had a bunch of guys. We've had too many race car drivers in our life. I actually remember watching and seeing your car run at Langhorn in 1967, 66, 67 time frame. Uh, still remember that, and I was uh, just a little tight at the time. Um, championships. Championships. I tell you the truth. I never was interested in championships. I thought that. And Sam Trailer in Allentown had phrased very well. He thought that Duncan and I were more interested in winning championships than races. <clears throat> Absolutely not true. I think it's too expensive to chase championships, although we did win a lot of them. We won a lot in ARDC with the Midgets, and we won Flem Kenny won Flemington two or three times. Uh, he won the rookie title there. Jimmy won the sportsman title there. But we never really chased points, never, ever, ever. And I don't think that's good for anybody to chase points. Financially, it's a disaster. Fondest memory? I don't know. I had so many that I don't know that I could single out one. doesn't even have to be about racing. 
know, well, if it's not about racing, then my fondest memory is sitting right here. And we appreciate that as well. An absolute pleasure, Mr. Brent. Thank you. Thank you. America lifts the curtain on a new sport, midget auto racing on a bank board track. It's a combination of the wall of death and speedway on four wheels as the gas buggy pilots blast their way round. But look out there on the far side. 